Betelgeuse is one of the brightest stars that you can see in the night sky, and its eventual explosion is an event that NASA has been dreading for a while. Located on the shoulder of Orion, Betelgeuse is fast approaching the end of its life. Around 2019, astronomers and enthusiasts started to notice that the once bright star is starting to dim in front of their very eyes. But shortly after that scare, Betelgeuse was once again as bright as it always was. But at this point, astronomers started to observe the star more carefully than before, and they determined that the star might be dangerously close to exploding. So, in case such a supernova does occur, what will be the consequences we would face here on Earth? Let's take a look. Betelgeuse is located on the upper right shoulder of the Orion constellation. It is the second brightest star in the constellation after Rigel, and it has a distinct red hue that makes it stand out from the rest. The name Betelgeuse comes as a translation from the Arabic name from the star, and it literally means the armpit of the giant. The giant, in this case, refers to Orion. To this day, scientists have been unable to figure out exactly how far away Betelgeuse is from the Earth, but it's believed to be around the ballpark of 430 and 724 light years away. Out of the 200 or so red supergiants in our galaxy, Betelgeuse is by far the closest to our planet. It's difficult to explain the sheer size of this star, but approximations put it at around 16 times bigger than the Sun. Despite the size and luminosity, the surface of Betelgeuse is only around 3,600 Kelvin, making it slightly cooler than the Sun. If Betelgeuse were to be placed exactly where the Sun is in our solar system, it would reach up to Jupiter and completely absorb Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. Betelgeuse is a relatively new addition in our galaxy, dating back to only around 9 or 10 million years ago. In comparison, our Sun is believed to be in the prime of its existence, and it was formed over 5 billion years ago. It's believed that most red supergiants such as Betelgeuse are nearing the end of their existence. But how are stars born? It all starts when a large concentration of hydrogen fuses together in a single area, forming a core. Once the hydrogen is pushed down further into the core by the force of gravity, it produces a new gas, helium. This is known as the fusion process, and during it, a lot of heat and energy is released from the star. Once this energy is released, it reaches the photon of space. However, throughout this whole process, the core of hydrogen of the star begins to deplete, and once it completely runs out, the helium starts to mix with carbon to produce neon. Following this, the neon will fuse with carbon to produce iron, and once neon fuses with iron, it finally begins absorbing energy instead of releasing it. At this point, there is nothing really holding the star together, and as a result, it begins to collapse or explode, causing what we now know as a supernova. Just one supernova explosion produces more than 10 billion suns. Betelgeuse has been described as having different physical characteristics throughout human history. Chinese astronomers in around 100 BC described it as having a yellow hue, but three centuries later, Greek scientist Ptolemy described it as having a healthy reddish complexion. This isn't unusual, as stars usually begin to get more and more red as they age and cool down. Since Betelgeuse is such a large star, it tends to burn through its hydrogen reserves much faster than the average star, and as a result, it has a much shorter lifespan. This, once again, points towards the theory that Betelgeuse is fast approaching the end of its life. A supernova could occur at any time right now. However, scientists aren't sure of exactly when that's going to happen. Keep in mind that a supernova means that the star will completely collapse in the explosions. Smaller explosions have happened as recently as August of 2022. The star undergoes two different cycles of dimming and brightening. The brightening cycle occurs every five years and lasts 100 years, and every time that happens, the star's circumference slightly changes. However, the star is now more inconsistent than ever before, and it's getting increasingly difficult to predict its behavior. This is likely an indicator that the star is about to die. So, with all of the warnings about Betelgeuse's imminent explosion, what would really happen to the Earth if such an event were to happen? Whenever a star explodes, the sheer amount of energy that is released from the explosion causes immense damage to all of its surroundings for light years. Betelgeuse is one of the closest stars to the Earth, believed to be anywhere from 430 to 724 light years away. Bear in mind that an explosion of a star as big as Betelgeuse 
would be far more devastating than the average supernova, and this has understandably led to a lot of panic among some astronomers. However, most scientists seem to agree that the Earth is still too far from the star to feel the effects of the supernova. The direct impact zone of the supernova would be around 50 light years away from Betelgeuse. So, with that considered, it's unlikely that humans will be affected by it at all. Another thing to remember is that even if Betelgeuse does explode, it would take hundreds of years for us to be able to see it on Earth. In fact, there's even a chance that Betelgeuse might have already exploded, and we simply haven't seen it yet because it's so many light years away from us. But eventually, one day, we will be able to see the supernova from the Earth. It would obviously look drastically different from before, and it would completely change our perception of the Orion constellation. If the Earth was within the impact zone of the Betelgeuse supernova, there would be a need for worry. If that were the case, as soon as the star exploded, the Earth's atmosphere and cells would be completely fried by the sheer amount of radiation that is produced from the supernova. That's not to say that both of these things would collapse immediately, but they would be highly contaminated. For example, if humans felt the effect of the explosion, we would likely face burns on every inch of our bodies, start to genetically mutate, and ultimately die of the complications of the effects. All of this would happen in a matter of seconds. It would affect every single corner of the Earth, and even though the planet itself would probably be spared, with the destruction of the atmosphere and life, it would not resemble what we know today. Instead, it would be a giant wasteland, devoid of all things that made it unique like mountains, rivers, lakes, oceans, seas, and land. The last supernova in our galaxy that was visible from Earth occurred in 1604. The event was known as Kepler's supernova, and it occurred around 20,000 light years away from the Earth. Betelgeuse, in comparison, is only a few hundred light years away. Kepler's supernova was easily visible from the naked eye in the night sky, and since Betelgeuse is so much closer, it's believed that its supernova would encompass a massive percentage of the night sky whenever it happens. It's certainly going to be a sight to behold whenever it does happen. But how long does a supernova last? Kepler's supernova was visible from the Earth for a period of three weeks. However, that was a much smaller star and it would be much farther away from Earth. Since Betelgeuse is both larger and closer to the Earth, its supernova will likely be visible for months, if not years, after it happens. There is one thing, however, that scientists can confirm. Betelgeuse will explode sometime within the next 100,000 years. While that might sound like a lot of time, it's really just a time frame. Even the next year would technically be within the next 100,000 years. It can simply happen at any time between now and then. It could very well be within our lifetimes, but it's equally as likely to happen when we, our grandchildren, their grandchildren, and even their grandchildren are all gone. Depending on who you ask, this is one event that excites and haunts all of us, but one thing's for sure, we'll all miss that red supergiant once it's gone. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think will happen when Betelgeuse explodes? Let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.